Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, gonna work on the RAM today. Um, I wouldn't say really work on the RAM. Um, we're gonna do some things to the RAM, but we'll more, more, more of like pretty much just a chit chat video. I was uh, wondering what you guys all think about uh, the cancellation of the Mopar Nets. I mean, that's like the one thing I really look forward to every year is the Mopar Nationals. I know previously in one of my further videos, I said I wasn't gonna go, but things changed and I ended up was able to go and just found out the other day, they, the day they canceled it. I'll put a little thing up here uh, from actual Mopar Nets, you know, explaining why they canceled it and blah, blah, whatever. You know, like I said, but that's like the one thing I look forward to the, the whole year. And you know, it's, it's a big thing, but it's not a big thing to where like, there's a lot of people that go there, but there's tons of room to where you could socially distance and do all that kind of crap and wear masks and you know, whatnot. So, I mean, I don't really want to get into too much of it, but I, I just don't really agree with it being canceled. We'll just leave it at that. So, um, now that we're not going to that, um, I did have a bunch of stuff I wanted to do to this before taking it to Mopar Nationals because I was going to take this to Mopar Nationals because obviously my my <laughs> my uh, black Dakota isn't done yet. There's no turbo or anything on that. So I do need to get to that here soon, eventually. But I also, <laughs> oh geez, ADD with cars. Um, but uh, anyways, I also bought another car. Um, I'm gonna do a separate video on that because that's one of my top three dream cars. And I picked it up for a really good deal and it's more or less where I want it to be. Um, I do have to go through and clean it up and, you know, do some OEM stuff to it and we'll get into that in that video. But yeah, so I think today what we're going to do to the truck is we are going to just uh, run through the suspension again because uh, I have a couple noises um, coming from the front end. Um, they're probably more alignment related than anything else just because I haven't gotten alignment yet. I need to roll the fenders because I did snag. <laughs> I did snag my fender the other day, so I had to uh, do all that. So I snagged my fender and then at work, I just grabbed a hammer and then beat that in there. I'll have to fix it nice and pretty, but you know, that's not really, that's not really that big of a deal. So I've got to roll the fenders, run through the suspension front and rear. Um, I do need to get new clips for the uh, caliper pads or the pads, just because like uh, the ones in there were used and the pads are rattling around in there and that's like the most annoying sound in the world so we'll get to that and then just keep doing little maintenance stuff and then i'll just chit chat with you guys as i go so we'll, we'll do that all right so you guys that haven't been oh that's that's the thing i'll have to go get a light all right so those of you who haven't been underneath this thing um or watched any of my other videos. Here she is underneath. Um, both frame rails were um, taken down and chassis savored. Uh, powder coated uh, sway bar and coil springs. Um, stock rack and minion, blah, blah, whatever. Um, everything on here has been painted and gone through. So there's not one thing under here that hasn't been touched or messed around with. Um, all of my suspension is powder coated um yeah so we're gonna just go through all this and do a nut and bolt check make sure nothing's you know super loose and rattling around and you know other than the brakes which i know are making noise um yeah definitely a bunch of room under here for all kinds of activities Yeah, um, I still need to uh, do uh, the um, chassis from uh, here back yet. So, I mean, that's not really that big of a deal. You know, you can still see it's, you know, surface rusty. So, oh, the whole chassis looked like, I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see it. Because I can't, my GoPro turned off while the screen did. But, yeah, so I got to knock all the surface rust off because this frame, the whole frame looked like this. You know, it's not bad, it's just a little surface rust. And then, yeah. 
So we'll knock that off and get that done at some point. I mean, I'm not too much of a hurry to do it now. Um, we'll keep coasting back here. And my exhaust. Whole rear end. Got my bags, which I need to change now that um, I put those uh, one and a half inch blocks in there. And now those are my bags are incorrect. So I need to cut my mounts and redo them. Um, I'm probably just, obviously I'm not gonna do the both mounts. I'm just gonna do the, uh, oh geez. I'm just gonna do the upper mounts. So that should be fine. But yeah, like I'm sure it's still riding a little bit like crap just because of the bags. Like you can see how smashed that bag is. That's pretty much bottomed out more or less. So that whole bag mount needs to go way the heck up. Um, yeah <laughs> oh geez it's always got to be something but if i would have done the correct thing and planned my suspension a little bit better i would have probably uh probably not done it that way so i do have enough room to flip the bag flip that and then do the bags the correct way so it's not a big deal those upper brackets i probably won't be able to save them just because of how well i welded them on there um yeah, that's that's more or less it. Not too terribly fancy. Um, hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, just realized <laughs> while I'm editing the video that um, I don't have an ending for it, miraculously. <laughs> more or less, just be uh, me chit chatting in this video, asking questions, what you guys think about the nets and. Showing a little bit of the suspension on the ram because um, I know I've had a couple questions here and there about like um, what I've done to it and all that kind of stuff and I figured this would be a good video to show you guys what the current underside of the ram looks like plus plans of what I need to fix and change which are the upper bag mounts and I do need to fix the shock mounts as well I need to extend both of those like I said now that I put them blocks in there change the geometry for the back that I had set up currently um so that'll of course be a video um uh why this video ended so abruptly is because while I was working on the ram I got a wild tear up my butt and started working on the next video which is going to be um well, that's not going to be the next video, but I started working on another video, which is the uh, body work on the Dakota uh, cab, cab. So that'll that'll be in the works. So, but the next video that I'm going to start editing after this video is going to be uh, the struts for the 2012 12 Aspen. So that'll be more or less what you're going to see for the next couple of videos after this one. So that's more or less be it. I'm going to finish this video out and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. So until then, peace out.